What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. For today's video, I'm doing part two to this video for the Zara Sale Haul Try-On portion. In my last video, I took you along shopping with me. I didn't take you along very far because I shopped online, but I went through my whole process about how I picked everything out, what I ended up buying, what I ended up going with, and I gave you guys a few tips and tricks on how to navigate Zara's website. If you haven't seen that one, definitely check it out. I just received my package in, so I thought I would quickly film a haul for you guys um, and show you what I picked up. I'm super excited. I got a few things from the new in collection, which I will be showing you guys as well. Everything will be linked down below along with the sizes I got everything in. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. The first thing I got is this dress right here. It's this like linen-y kind of material. So this I originally wanted to get just as a dress. I got these fabulous Superga sneakers. I just wanted to pick this up because it is so beautiful. I love just throwing dresses on when I don't know what to wear. The only thing I did notice though is that this is a little bit see-through. It's a little bit sheer. This might be reserved for the beach. Although I don't know when I'll be going to the beach because I live in Montreal. Okay, I like this dress way more than I thought I would. I'll have to take it outside to see if it is see-through or not. But from what I can see right now, it isn't see-through. But it's so flowy, so comfortable. I just have it paired with like a little pair of flats for summertime. If you're just running around or you want something like very cute and girly and beautiful. To run a belt and I really like this also. Kind of breaks up the outfit, gives like more of maybe a nighttime or a dinner vibe you can definitely throw on a pair of heels but it's still very casual and daytime if you wanted to throw on like a pair of espadrilles I don't know which way I like it more they're both very pretty the next thing I picked up is this skirt which is to die for it is in this beautiful burnt orangey kind of color it has this cutout and this little hoop I just thought this was beautiful for the summertime this kind of skirt is really good because you can either pair it with like white because white looks really good with this like a creamy white or you can pair it with black for like nighttime sexy looks I would pair it more with black but for daytime looks I would pair it with white and cream with this skirt I really wanted to play up the goldy neutral orange undertones of the skirt so here I have it paired with okay it's not looking like it in camera, but these are these two go so well together. All of them have very orange golden undertones. I find that sometimes if you don't look at the undertone of like a neutral color, because there's so many different undertones, you can have pink neutrals, orange neutrals, green neutrals, you have to like match them. And when you don't, that's when mixing neutrals can look very wrong. So here I have this skirt. I love this little cutout. And then I paired it with this goldy, let me show you guys. I paired it with this goldy kind of top. This is from Express. I really hope you guys can see like how pretty they all go together. Anyways, this is from Express. And then I threw on the over shirt I got during the Zara sale. The next thing I picked up is this white button up. I know I said I don't need any more white button ups and I don't, but I get suckered in by different materials, different styles, different lengths, and I think this one completes my collection. I am simply not allowing myself to buy any more white button ups. This one is super flowy, gives like a really laid back vibe. For example, I know these look very similar, but this is the one I just got. It's like very flowy. You can see it like has a lot of movement to it, not very stiff. This is one of my favorite ones. This is more like a true men's dress shirt. It's more of a stark white, whereas this is like a, a creamy white. And that's me trying to justify why I basically just bought a top by R already out. <laughs> This outfit is very similar to the one with the skirt, but I have it paired with blue jeans and this top looks so nice paired with blue jeans. It looks like kind of like a fancier version. Definitely good for nighttime because the material makes it look almost a little bit fancy. This outfit is super comfortable, but all of the pretty colors and materials just really take it to the next level. I will probably be wearing this to work tomorrow. I know we're in the middle of summer, but I wanted to pick up a blazer because all of their blazers and outerwear are on sale. So I picked up this one, which is perfect for the fall time. It has this print, a little scratchy, not gonna lie, but the inside isn't, so it's totally okay. I got it in a size large because I wanted it very oversized, but just with like an all black outfit underneath or even with jeans and a top, definitely giving me like borrowed my grandpa's blazer vibes, but I love it. This is a blazer. I have it paired with just jean shorts, a nude top. I love how the nude looks with the blazer. I feel like it's not doing it justice. 
the camera's not doing it justice. The camera never does anything justice. In the fall, it's gonna be perfect with like leather leggings. That would be so cute. Black leather leggings, brown leather leggings, or black jeans, regular leggings, you name it. It can go with it because there's like a lot of darker tones running through it. It's not like too long or overpowering to the point where I look like I'm drowning. Which sometimes I do look that way in oversized blazers. So this is the one I actually thought of being like a pool cover-up. that has this kind of like tie knot detail in the front. Definitely, I don't know if this is supposed to be a shirt. Nice and breathable, it's not too thick so I'm not going to die of heat. I'm ready for the pool. I have my um, bag you're going to see in just a little bit. It's like a terry cloth pool bag and then this is the pool cover up. I'm going to show you guys how to wear it as a top after this. I have my bikini from Nasty Gal on. I think it's just perfect because it's lightweight. It's not going to make you hot. It has like that amazing earthy tone, earthy texture. If you wanted to and you're into this kind of style, you could also wear it with shorts. Just very relaxed, laid back. Next up I have the top that I didn't like the little hole in but I actually do like this little hole. I don't know if you can even see there's a there's a peephole. And what I really liked was the material. It's very soft, it's very stretchy. It's just something different. So I pictured this with like black leather pants because the material is so, I don't even know if you can see it. The material is um, very nice. You can dress it up with like black leather pants and a ton of gold jewelry. This is the top. I'm actually really happy I went with it. It's very like form-fitting and pretty, blattering. And for some reason, I think this little hole actually looks nice now. I didn't like it, but now I like the whole. I'm going through these kind of quickly because I did get a lot and I don't want this video to be eight years long. So this is, um, okay. This is one of the pieces where in the moment I was like, yes, that is the best idea ever. And now I have it here and I'm like, what was I thinking? It is like a polo knit smock looking dress. It looks like maybe I was in art class in grade for and I had to wear a smock and this is what they gave me. It just doesn't really have any shape to it. Sometimes I like black out while I'm shopping and I end up with these things and I'm like, who bought that? Couldn't have been me. This next little set is to die for. So it has this like green and black pattern on it and then it has a matching top. So there's a few different ways I would style it. I would totally style it with these Stuart Wiseman heels or I would style it with a black leather blazer on top and like below the knee boots. This is the little set. It definitely is a mini skirt. Like it's pretty short, but mini skirts, like really mini skirts are super in this summer. So I love it. Of course you could wear each separately. You can wear the bottoms with a black top or the top with like black pants or a black skirt. I'll show you guys that next. But I have a pair together and then I just threw it on like I said with these little heels. I also paired it with some gold accessories and a little black bag. I don't know what drew me to this pattern but I'm obsessed with it. So this is with the black leather blazer. I think for nighttime, especially in Montreal, it can get a little chilly at nighttime. I think for nighttime, this is such a look. And then I paired it with some below the knee boots just to switch things up. I love like knee high boots in the summertime with a mini skirt. I feel like this is such a look, maybe something like a model would wear, I don't know. I'm nowhere close to being a model. I just feel really good in this outfit. Next I have these jeans. I don't know if they're necessarily my vibe, but they're definitely someone's vibe, okay? So they have a raw hem at the top, which I love, and then they go super, super wide leg, which I thought was definitely cool. I don't have anything this wide leg. And then they have a slit at the bottom. So these are the jeans. As soon as I put them on, I don't know why, I got the urge to do this. Now, it's gonna be a no from me. Uh, I don't even wanna wash them to see if they shrink to a size that I like because I do like this hem, this like uh, raw hem at the top. I think it's very cool, very different. Let me know in the comments. Should I wash them and try to shrink them or should I just return them? Okay, but guys, you know what I just realized? I can wash them and then I can cut them into shorts and still get this like raw hem look. Let me know what you think I should do in the comments. <laughs> Next, I have the first dress I actually saw, which is this beautiful, natural kind of material, and it is a long dress. I've been really loving long dresses. I think they make you look very pretty. This is a beautiful, beautiful dress. Definitely very good if you wanna be a little bit more covered up. When I see this, I just think of a winery. I don't know why. 
I don't know why. It has this like really pretty slit in the front, wrap over, crossover detail, so pretty. It's more of like a greeny beige. It's all about those undertones, you guys. And then for shoes, I paired it with some gold heels you guys are gonna see in a little bit. Don't know where I'm gonna wear it, have no idea but I will be wearing it somewhere. Finally, out of the two cardigans, I ended up going with this yellow one and I'm so happy I did because it's beautiful. So the way I wanna wear this is with like obviously jeans, but I think it would also look really cute if you wore it with like white sweatpants and a white top and put this um, open on top or with jeans. It pairs really, really nice with light wash denim. This is not something I ever would have bought before. So I don't know what's happening to me. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in love with this sweater. I have it paired with some jean shorts. It looks so nice with denim. I'm obsessed with yellow. I think yellow has become my favorite color which is funny because it was also the first word I ever said. Okay, so this is the bag that reminded me of the Prada bag, the Prada Terry cloth bag. I did not want to pay the Prada prices for a Terry cloth bag, so I'm really happy I found this. I think this is adorable for a beach bag, even if you just wanted to carry it around. The color of it is perfect. It's like an oat kind of creamy color and then i also got a matching waterproof terry cloth makeup bag not the exact same color but inside it has like little pockets and little sections so i will put my terry cloth makeup bag in my terry cloth bag so this i obviously can't show you but lastly i got a bra looks like this super super flattering i Need to check if they have matching underwear but i just love these like lacy kind of bras i think they're so pretty so flattering um and the quality feels very very nice they got a size 75b i've literally never heard of sizing like that but it says it's like a medium so i have two pairs of shoes i want to show you they were not on sale the first are these platform kind of flip-flops platform sandals platform flip-flops are just really in this summer i saw these and fell in love i got my normal size and they're a little bit small so i would recommend sizing up for these i can definitely go for it one size up i feel like these would be perfect if you're going on vacation and lastly i picked up a pair of these gold golden heels and I love these. These are probably one of my favorite things from the entire haul. I was wearing them before and they're super comfortable. All of their heels that look like this I always get because they're so comfortable. Like I got, I got these, I got these maybe a year ago and they are the most comfortable shoes. Like it's the same kind of style. Like they're so easy to walk in, they're so comfortable and the gold is really pretty. Alrighty you guys, so that is it for what I picked up at Zara during the sale. I hope you enjoyed this video as per usual every single thing will be linked down below as well as the giveaway winner so make sure you check that out don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week i love you and i'll see you guys back here next time